Hey yo, it's your boy Los. Let's get it. Damn, let's go. Uh, almost lost my life in 03. Uh, near fatal sickness had a hold of me. Uh, but mercy told it to let go of me. Uh, now grace has got me where I'm supposed to be. Now I got his brother getting everything that I got. I'm redeemed and believe in the spot. If you ever hear a scream that I lean on the rock, I mean anything that I need, he has got it. He has got it. He has got it. Same one split scenes with a rod. Took by the seas, received no defeat. My king keeps me against a lot. The oddity of my odyssey is he changed every part of me. There's a lonely, wicked sinner, but somehow the king acknowledged me. I'm set apart in royalty, but submitted to his sovereignty. Lord, I'm finding solace when I honor you with all of me. So as you can see on this, man, it's kind of cloudy. <laughs> Sorry, cloudy Tuesday morning. We're checking out uh, Jay Crumb's. I think I believe it's his latest album uh, called Villains, and this was suggested by one of the homies off uh, facebookcom Um He struck out the first time. Got to be honest, he struck out the first time with the album uh, suggestion, and so I'm hoping this time will be better for the homie. <laughs> No, I'm playing. But uh, this is Jay Crumb's first uh, latest album, <coughs> Villains. Um, I didn't get a chance to see what label he was up under, though. But um, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he he has he had a little bit of change behind it because this is a well put together album where I, I I'm not I just find it hard to believe that a bootleg kind of company threw it together. Now anything's possible. I just don't see that being a possibility, though. But um, nevertheless, though. Um, this album was, man, this was a good album. So I, I've been sick for going on a week now, right? And I didn't want to listen to the album at first while I was sick because I wanted to be able to be at least, at least, you know, 60, 70, 80% good so I can hear the album and really enjoy it. But even at 40% bad, um, this album still resonated with me. This album still, um, hit me and I, I still enjoyed this album um few few small things I didn't like about it but for the most part I gotta say this was a dope album and this was was a it was, it was the kind of album honestly even while I was sick that um I couldn't wait to get better so I can you know roll the windows down as I drive and bump it and, and play it loud uh kind of Christian album that I wasn't ashamed not, I'm not that don't take this wrong but there's a kind of Christian album that I wasn't ashamed to have the windows down and somebody pull up next to me and I'm worried that some, he's going to say something that's going to be controversial, whether it be, you know, a word or a phrase. Now, you know me, I don't mind a fight or an argument or even a discussion. Uh, I don't mind that. Uh, but um, if he would have said the N word or, you know, he would have cursed or like that, I'm like, ah, I can't play this. Not around my kids or, you know what I'm saying? But um, this, that, this album was, was, was an actually wholesome Christian album. And I say that because you hear his style. <coughs> he has a very rugged style, right? My favorite song in the album is called uh, Fallen, Fallen Skies, I think it is. Uh, and, 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 and beautiful song, man. And it's beautiful to me because I am a, a MOP, you know, and yep, if you know that song, um, fan, right? I love that song. The group was amazing. Not sure why they didn't go as far as they could have went. MOP was bonkers. Anyways, that song reminds me of, of them, right? And the, the energy behind it, the, 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 the get up, the, the, you know that mosquito? Uh, the energy behind it, the get up, the go, the, the, I can't wait to to get to the gym. I can't wait to you know grab the ball and and, and and shoot around or whatever, whatever. It just had a real pumped up. Let's go with it, right? As opposed, as as also, it, it, there was a still a powerful message of still rising and still, regardless of what's hitting me, regardless of what's coming down. I stand firm in Christ, and it's whatever whatever is coming at me is not going to stop me from one glorifying the Lord and two um, standing up and opposing it. You know, I, I love that message. I love the way he came with it. Very very gritty, <coughs> just very. Just dope. The first song on the album, actually, you know, is called Villains. So the album is called Villains, and the song here is called Villains. And I, I loved that song because uh, it, 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 the chorus of it alone is dope. So it's to me, it's always it's always tricky, right, to find a dope song that has dope verses, dope production, and a dope chorus, right? There's always something always lacking. Like I love Christ Centric Evangel to me. Like I said before, I said again, is the dopest MC to ever touch the mic. Never been an MC better than him. Never will be an MC better than him. Is what it is. Sorry, but gotta be honest and say that their their 
courses aren't always the best. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't even do a course. I just like, he'll stop rapping. Sorry. He'll stop rapping and then just let the beat just play out and just, you know, they come back in for the second verse. Um, and so sometimes you'll, you'll, it's a hit and miss with having all three done right, right? Or four, which I'll be sure say uh, mastering as well. But anyways, <coughs> that song Villains did a good, good job of reminding us that Christ died for the ungodly. God died for the ungodly. For those who who did not want him, did not desire him, did not love him, yet he loved us when we didn't love him, and he died for us, for the elect. And I love that. I I I love it was just it's a great reminder of the fact that one, you didn't save yourself. You know, you didn't wake up one morning and say, hey, you know what? I'm tired of living sinful. Let me go and get this done. No, that was God's work. That was all Christ. Oh, that was the Father elected us, the Son died for us, and the Holy Spirit uh, generated. Hope it regenerates us and guarantees us, right? And, and so, I love the picture painted in that song there, man. Which is very beautifully done. Um, just overall, just a dope album, man. Um, very much. You, 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 can, you can feel his passion for Christ, right? While at the same time, he's not only taking the time to show you that, yo, I love God. He's also making a point to, for you guys to say, yo, look, here's God. Right, so you can fall in love with God like I'm in love with God. Um, there's songs at the end, towards the end, where, where he does one thing he does that I think is, is kind of beautiful, where he starts off <coughs> heavy hitting, boom, 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 then it kind of mellows out, mellows out, then kind of hits you again real quick, then kind of mellows out, and then kind of just fades out with uh, uh, some laid back, uh, 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 laid back style kind of music, right? So he also raps, but he also sings as well. Now, I'll be straight with you. I'm not on every song. There's a song called Underdogs, right? Where basically, um, the, what I, the impression I got from it was pretty much don't don't view us as weak, um, don't view us as you know that we can't make moves, we can't do anything. Uh, matter of fact, God loves the underdogs, kind of ordeal, right? Great song, great concept. I'm not sure if his singing on that song matched though. I felt like it was a stretch. Um, I think I love everything else about that song, right? I thought everything else about that song was not up too high. I think it's up too high. Okay. One second. So sorry. Uh, gonna pause me if I don't. Uh, uh. Sorry. Anyways, um, uh, hold on. All right. Sorry. Everything about that song I liked, but I don't feel like I feel like his singing was. I think it was too much. Uh, I feel like he was trying to do too much with the singing, and I I would have outsourced the, the, a singer on that one. I don't think I would have, if I was in his shoes, I wouldn't have um, sung on that one. There, I would have put all my focus and attention on rapping, you know, to make sure the lyrics were on points, so, which he did. Um, but just that, I think the singing on Underdogs to me was just at the end, <coughs> the way he said Underdogs as he sung, just was a stretch for me. I. I it, it, it turned me off for a split second. If if his lyrical style, skills, skills, sorry, his lyrical style, what he was talking about, wasn't so dope, I probably would have turned that song off with the next song because of the simple fact that I just felt like the singing was was was, was a stretch. But other than that, it's just a dope song, man. Um, the whole concept of the album uh, was put together very beautifully. Um, like I said, I, I, I salute his team, man. I think that his whoever he has on the squad is 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 dope because they they are smarter than the average bear type joint. They just they did a good job. Um, one thing I didn't like about the album though um, was so so Jake Crow, as far as I know, it's my first time ever hearing this guy, right? <coughs> so the album comes on villains. So the first four songs actually um, is him and somebody else. So I don't know coming into this. If Jay Crumb is a group or an individual, right? And so initially, I'm thinking it's a group. I thought maybe Jay stood for something, and then you know Crumb was, you know, I don't know if they put the actor in to put something together or whatever. I don't know. But then as I'm looking through the credits, I see Jessica Crumb features on like the third to the last song, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute. So who is she? Then I kind of put two and two together, and realized that Jay Crumb is actually one guy. Cool looking cat, man. Um, he got, definitely got bars, um, and then he just has a lot, a lot of features on the album. And he also, his style is very versatile. One thing I do love about his style is he's not, he's not married to one way of delivering his his bars. And I love that. I love the fact that he gives you versatility throughout this album, right? 
<laughs> but he's not a married to one style. Like, okay, I have to rap this way the whole entire time. No, he he he, he flips it a little bit here and there. Gives you gives you a a nice. Uh, Neo soul style towards the end, but then at the same time, like I said, does the MOP gets you hyped and gets you energetic, but at the same time, just does his well, towards the beginning, he does this a lot of, a lot of um, auto tune. You know me, I'm not a fan of auto tune, and so that there bothered me slightly. See, here's, here's the thing, right? The things that bother me about his album were, were seen minuscule because he has style, he, he has bars. Um, it's like going back to like I said before about Andre, Andre 3000, like. We look past his clothing, you know what I'm saying? Because even like the, his, uh, his his crazy antics as far as his wardrobe, because boy boy got bars. You know Andre can give you a 16 or 32 that's gonna blow your wig back. So you're like, bro, where would you wanna wear, homie? I, I ain't worried about it, right? And so Jay Crumble is out here. I can look past the little things that bother me because I think that he is one. He got bars, but two, he's very genuine in what he's talking about. Like when he's <coughs> when he's speaking. It's like he really believes that. And that, that's, you know, that's something that's rare that I found to be rare amongst a lot of MCs. Some people, it's like, it's people, I, I remember talking to an ambassador years back, right? And he said, I've said this before, he said something to me. Um, he didn't go into details of who, and I didn't ask who. I probably, I wanted to ask who, not thinking back knowing me, but I didn't. But he says, a lot of, this is back when everybody was trying to be a theological, you know, um, type dude. He said, a lot of guys, talk that theological talk only because that's what's hot right now it's not because that's where they really are you can, it's just it's just it's just hot right now everybody is there and so to fit in they talk that all that deep theological stuff right and i feel like and it's for me and looking back as i as i say that even now there's mcs that come to my mind from back when that i can say you know what I'm pretty sure he was talking about him. Ah, probably talking about him. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some people that just look at like and just tell, like, yo, it wasn't really you, bro. You just did it for, for, for what things were. <coughs> With Jay Crumb, I can actually tell he feels what he's saying. Like, this is real. Like, sorry. Like, like, Lord, you are who you say you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said you were a deliverer, Lord. You are who you say you are because you've delivered me. You've kept me. You've protected me and my my family. You you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like he's speaking in every song from a place of understanding, from a place of I can say this because it's truth. How I know it's truth, man? Let me tell you. You know what I'm saying? Type joy. And I just I just really enjoy the album. Man. I really I'm a, I'm a fan of this album. Fan of this MC. Um, the auto tune joint threw me though. I didn't like the auto tune in the beginning. Nothing. Like, sorry, going back to what I was saying, like I got sidetracked. Um, first four songs has, um, oh, come on out, sir. All right. First four songs has features, right? And I feel like he should have did, like I said, so a guy like myself who doesn't know who J. Crumb is, <coughs> my first thought was, J. Crumb, like I said, was a group. Um, I just felt like he put too many features on this album. I felt like he should have, here's, it's, it's I guess I sound hypocritical right now because I, I enjoy the aspect of looking out for the homies. I enjoy the aspect of collaborating with cats. That's banging to me. But at the same time, I kind of I kind of wanted to hear more of just him, right? I wanted just to feel him, hear his heart, because I don't think that everybody like the, the very second second song, right? The the young he sound, do sound a mad young, gifted just sounded mad young. He sounded to me. Like he was freestyling the song, and it just it didn't come out right. Um, he, he so so Jay Crumb comes in, and then the young man comes after him, and it was like a thirty. If like he gave thirty two bars, shouldn't have been a good nice sixteen. But he kind of just kept going and going, and I felt like as he was in the studio freestyling or doing this bar, he's like, ah, I should be done, but I want to keep going because I want to keep going. And I just felt like, bro, you, you was done back when. You know what I'm saying? Stop. My point on that is, <coughs> I felt like he just had too many features on this album. I think he had, so the first four were features, and then I think he had like seven features on this album. And for me, that was not discouraging, but for me, that was kind of like, eh, because my first time hearing him, uh, I, I, I wanted to hear him. And I felt like he should do the, if you're gonna do like that, right, do a compilation album like J. Crump and Friends. Okay, that's corny, don't, don't, don't title it that. But J. Crump, you know, something, whatever, and then have a bunch of cats on the album and get in like that, which would be, we have been banging, but uh, one or two, maybe three features as a whole is dope, but 
I, I think he over I think he overdid it with the with the features and I felt like when he by doing it that way kind of gave me the impression like maybe you're not as confident in your skills as I think it, that you are um I don't know that might not have sounded right but yeah, overall I don't want to be too negative um I enjoyed that I really don't have much negative to say about the album and even the things I did just say is kind of like yeah you know just personal pet peeves uh I, I believe theologically he was dope I think I believe theologically he was on point um yeah, I don't, I don't think I heard anything that made me say, huh? But, uh, dope, man. And it wasn't really about the bars, really. He wasn't a bar, it wasn't a bar, bar heavy album. It was an album that took the time to glorify God in a very aggressive way. And I loved it, homie. Real talk, bro. Um, I saw you got, uh, you have like uh, another album. You have an album and I believe like an EP. I'm gonna call it an EP because you only got a few songs on that, like six songs of EP. But you have another album, so like total two albums of the EP, a bunch of singles. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Salute, bro. Real talk, man. Good joy. Good God honoring joy, bro. Real talk. All right, y'all. Grace.